How we doing, everyone? My name is Michael Worden, and if you're new here, well, I gotta say, it's a pleasure to meet you. And, well, what I'm gonna be dis discussing today is what I like to call the Tekken 8 notations. Tekken notations, Tekken buttons, something of that kind of nature. Um, I think it's more of just the notations of this lovely fighting game called Tekken 8. So, let's get into it. Okay, so, with this game Tekken, you may have have actually got interested into the game, you know, you saw the marketing and stuff like that, and it really caught your attention with the cool trailer and the cool music and everything. You want to get into it, but you may have seen some things that, like, may have spooked you, especially if you're new to fighting games. If you're not new to fighting games, then obviously this video, with all due respect, might be a big waste of your time. I don't know. Share this with a friend that may be new to fighting. But, if you are new new to fighting games, period, and this game is what caught your eye, then obviously you're going to want to understand the notations of this game. You might be hearing the phrase, one, two, three, four. You might hear forward, up, back, down. Now I might have gone in a different direction with that, but <laughs> no pun intended, but you, you, you know what I'm saying. You might be hearing these phrases. And secondly, or the next point I'm gonna make, or whatever the hell you wanna call it, you, you know, you may have shown yet again some interest in the game and you may have saw a character that you like and then you may have gone on YouTube, where you are right now, and you may look up, uh, Panda. <laughs> combo videos for Panda, and and you see these different kind of words, and you, you, you know, you see the combo video, and on the bottom of the screen you might see, I might put it in there for your visual aid, and I might just scramble a bunch of things together, you might see a set of set of numbers and letters and things and you're like what the heck I'm like I thought I I thought I came here to play a, a fighting game and not learn re, not relearn calculus you know <laughs> trust me it, it can it can be intimidating at first but once you see it you understand like you break it down and you kind of understand like what you're seeing you're like oh that's not, not bad at all okay so obviously, it's funny, I thought if I ever did a video like this, this character would ever pop up. But I'm going to use Panda, just because why the hell, why not? So, I don't care about my training character for, you, for video purposes. Now, obviously you have different stages. I'm not going to break down the, the stages and uh, understanding the gimmick or whatever that comes with the stage. My idea, if you're new and you're just getting into this, I would suggest you do Arena. Uh, Yakushima, if I said that right. I don't speak any form of Japanese or Chinese or any kind of Asian language, so if I pronounce that wrong, I'm sorry. But I'm calling it Yakushima, and I also heard that this stage is having, is having issues with making some of the people's game crash, so approach that with caution depending on this, the setup that you have. Oh, what else? What, else? what other stage? Calcium Fate, that's probably a good stage to start up practicing on. Fallen Destiny, this is another good one. Celebration on the on the sign scene. Something like that. Well this is a good one. Yeah, those stages there are the best. And the reason why is because they don't have any gimmicks and you can probably spend some time really learning them without things happening and I would say either do Yakushima or Coliseum Fate because they're a lot bigger and you have a lot more room to work with and you can just practice things without running into a wall you know running into a wall with you know without you know I think it's a good idea so let's just for the heck of it let's just go into Coliseum Fate okay so one okay like I said, once you understand it and once you like break it down, it's really not bad. One is the left arm. 
Okay. One. He said left arm. Okay. Two. This is just a right arm. Okay. It's a right arm. Just think. When you when you count, you go from left to right. One, two. Okay. It just works like that. Three. Okay. Is the left. All right. Left leg. Okay. It's really simple. Left leg. Four is the right way. That's it. That's all it really is. It's not that it's not that hard to understand. Okay. Now, you know, like I said, you're probably gonna be hearing forward, back, down, and up. Now, I know in my video discussing controller usage, but I, I kind of just said left, down, right, in just conjunction to what you were seeing. So, like when you look at the little pamphlet, whatever. Whatever comes with each controller, they're kind of just showing, you know, the button directions, and of course our brain just says left, right, whatever. But the reason why you're going to be hearing forward, back, down, up is because we're always referring to when we're staring at our program, uh, at at our opponent, right? So I'm holding forward. I know I'm holding right, but I'm holding forward. I'm going towards my opponent now. Okay, so I change sides. Now, for this, I'm still holding forward, but I'm holding left. So when people are saying forward, they're in saying forward in regards to when they're going towards their opponent. Now, another thing: down, up, no matter what. Down is down, and up is up. That's it. All it really is. Yeah, that's it. S -s 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 Simple, direct. That's it. Now, another thing that you're probably going to hear is down forward, up forward, up back, down back. Okay. See if you see the notations on the left side of the screen on my side when you when you hit up and up forward at the same time you're gonna get that kind of directional input okay I know you're gonna probably see the little um, you might see this by accident but that's more of a me issue so you know as someone to say skill issue and then you're gonna hear up back see up back so it's that little funny direction then you got down back see I know like I got yet again you're gonna be seeing the the, the back direction or left yet again still don't forget skill issue okay and then down forward okay down forward don't forget skill issue if you're seeing just that thing okay you know you're seeing the the, the, the right direction so yeah that's really just about it now we're gonna go do character selection I mean no, no not character selection uh controller setup all right and Depending on the controller that you're playing, I got a video on that. I'm not gonna get too much into it, but you can kind of set, you know, how you want to play the game. And still, well, as long as you know, left punch is one, right punch is two, three punch, I mean, uh, left kick is three, and right kick is four. Once you get that down, that's perfect. If I said something wrong there, I'm sorry. And of course, I kind of use nifty uh, button bindings, which is uh, up to your personal preference. Uh, what else? I got a brain fart here. Give me a second. Oh, another thing I, I in a sad way, I almost forgot to mention. You're probably going to be hearing the phrase, <clears throat> uh, one plus two. Okay, that's one and two pressed together. Okay. Okay, obviously you just did a heat engager, which I'll get to that thing at some point. It's all it really is. Okay. Okay. One plus two. And then you're probably hearing the phrase three plus four. Okay. I don't think, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Okay. It's one plus two, three plus four. You just press those two buttons together. That's it. Then you're going to hear possibly one plus three and then two plus four. Yet again, pretty stinking simple. 
I'm probably gonna um nah, uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna post the link down below that'll bring you <clears throat> that's gonna bring you to the controller laid out layout so that you kind of know you know the buttons for you and how the gets gonna work and the reason why they <clears throat> the reason why that they use one two three four and not X square triangle Y uh, circle B or A X is because a lot of people play on different things like for me I play on a hitbox and I don't have any of those any of those buttons at all or any of those little imprints on these buttons at all but when I know to press one I know to press one and two is to get the journal just an idea so yeah that's basically the notations attack and it's really not that hard once you kind of get the, the gist of it um you know you'll get rolling with that well that's gonna do it for the the Tekken notations in this game like i said how i see it is it, it's really not hard once you kind of get familiarized with it <clears throat> it's not hard at all and it and, and takes a little bit of understanding and once you get it you, you know you'll be you know flying with you you'll, you'll understand and, and you'll get it um one thing i kind of forgot to mention and the game doesn't really showcase it like like in that little command history that pops up as you play it's you you'll see a, a notation and i probably will put a picture of it in my in my b-roll or I'll probably a little picture somewhere around here excuse me um you probably would see like uh, you know things like forward forward and then whatever butt notation it is for you depending on the character that you play um that indicates that when you hit forward forward and you see a little black button that means that you you got to hold that button so forward and then when you hit the second forward you hold it and then you kind of hit that button at the same time as you're holding that forward button but other than that oh and another thing i almost forgot <laughs> um if you play which <clears throat> i'll get into discussing this in another video if you get into playing characters what they call mishimas which is Double Jin, Kazuya, and Jin. You, you'll see, or, and, um, a character called Reina. Um, you'll see a character, you'll see this notation forward, and you'll see a pretty little star there, and then it's down, down, forward, and then it's whatever that command is. Now, what that forward star, down, down, forward means is, that little star means that you hit forward and then you wait like a split second and you hit down forward and then they'll kind of do that no they'll kind of do what they call a wave dash and that's what that little star means it's forward stop for a very split second and then down down forward and then whatever the whatever notation or button that you got to press is and yeah that's really just about it and uh with that, I'm out of here. So, see ya!